What's up guys? Sorry for the lack of content lately. I've been busy at the shop. You can see a sneak peek what's been going on. Building the mezzanine, getting everything organized up there. But, two part video. I got a quick review on a pretty cool endoscope company sent me on Steve's new flipping cars. He's gonna end up keeping it, so we're doing the motor now. Show you guys what we find and break this endoscope out. Show you what it's all about. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. So here's the Wi-Fi endoscope or boroscope, whatever you want to call it. It's got a super long cable to it. It's good for uh, iOS, iPad, Android devices. Um, it's got uh, six LED lens in there. It's uh, brightness, you can set the brightness on it. It's IP67, so pretty much waterproof. HD image, Wi-Fi connectivity. I had this thing connected to my phone already. And I guess the quality depends on, you know, the quality type phone you got. Um, but you know showing up on my phone and Steve's phone it was showing up pretty nice but here's what comes in the package pretty much charger wire you got the actual unit and a super long cable with the camera on the end this does have just one camera there's no angle but it does come with you got your mirror in there a little magnet and a pickup tool which I thought was pretty cool nice little accessories that it comes with but Instructions, no need. Download the app. I'll put the app down in the description of the video. And uh, Steve's going to go ahead and just hook it up to his phone. So basically, you just turn it on. Yeah, let's get this thing turned on. There's a little on switch on the side here. Click it on. You'll see the LED turn on. And then it's pretty much going to link up to his phone. Show us. Go to the HD app. What's it called again? HD, HD Wi-Fi. Wi yeah, the app's called HD Wi-Fi. And then, well, actually, no, I think what you do, go to Wi-Fi. You got to do the... You go to the Wi-Fi settings. Yeah, pick it up. You'll pick it up in Wi-Fi. Turn it on as Wi-Fi. And it puts a, the jet shun. Hook it up to it. It's connecting. Cool, I think that's it. Yeah, now go back to the app, and you should have an image here. The password's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the default password. Right. So there it is. So we're gonna hook this thing up and show you guys what we're using it for. So, there's the GXP on the flips. Steve is gonna keep it, but, uh, we're getting ready to, I got the used motor here. This one got 90K. And some guys were asking me, why don't I just rebuild the engine that's in it? And quick uh, reason why is because we found four holes in the block. There's one little one there, pretty decent size one there. And then there's one off in the front here, right there. So needless to say, this thing spun a bearing and broke pretty good inside there, but we're trying to get this, trying to get these torque converter bolts out. And we got to about two or three of them, but you can see the connecting rod inside there. We'll see if we're gonna move it out of the way so we can get this next one. And that's where the endoscope's gonna come into play. So I'm gonna get set up. We'll see what the quality of this camera can, can do for us. See if we get in there and see. So we can get this last bolt to the torque converter right here. Through the starter hole. So Steve's got the camera. And as you can see, I mean, the cable is kind of too much to manage here but I ended up it comes with nice little velcros to kind of keep it managed but I had to undo them so we could kind of get it linked in here so we can control the camera but you know extra long cable you know whatever you got you're gonna have a lot of slack here but we got the phone set up right here you can see the image pointed at uh, not at the light I mean it's a pretty decent image for being on a cell phone but he's gonna shove it in one of those holes there and see what it looks like And this is just off his phone screen here. There's inside the block there. You can see a piece of the crank, the crack on the block. Let's see if you can see that broken connecting rod. You can see scratches on the side. So yeah, this thing uh, definitely failed pretty good. 
You can actually zoom with it too. Yeah, the camera's got a nice zoom function. It's got, uh, does it got adjust, like uh, the light adjust too, right? Yeah. There's a zoom times two. You yeah, turn up the light, it's got a little dial. Here, let me show. It really is too much to handle. So we got, we can snap pictures of it. You got your zoom feature back and forth. You got your on and off here, and then here's your light right here. It's got a little uh, knurled up and down. And you can see how bright it gets. It's dim and bright, so that's a pretty nice feature. You know, you put it too bright, it's pretty much going to blow out the image on the camera. But you can see... Here, go on this side, see if we can see it, because this is where the connecting rod yeah, is. Yeah, this is where we can see it. Well, let me see the screen. Not this one. No, the screen. I can't see it. Oh. Here, let me get on this side. Yeah. I'm just going to let this hang, dude. Yeah, that's a lot of cable to manage. Maybe snap some pictures of it and see if we can That's move this. Light. We can move this connecting rod out of the way so we can spin this, spin this crank to get these last bolts here. But you can see the damage here. You know this would definitely be, you know, something cool to show the customer. Obviously, you know it doesn't even have to have the hole in the side of the block. You know you could drop this thing down through a valve cover or whatever. If you're trying to get to the lower end or drop the pan a little bit and slide a camera in there. To kind of see your bearings and all that stuff but yeah this was catastrophic on this one this kid was doing a number on this one there you go yeah you can see I can see a part of it up there on the left so snap a couple pictures and then we'll look at the pictures and see which way it needs to go so pretty nice features guys want to show you this thing in action this thing's probably gonna help us here we got to get this last bolt out of here because uh, you know we don't want to pull the trans and make this job harder than it needs to be and we still got to dress up the new motor so here's a better view of his phone we turn the brightness up on the phone here and you can just see the lower part portion of the end cap on the connecting rod all mashed together Steve zooming in on it but yeah snap a picture of that this one's going to be a fun one. I hope we get this bolt out, but great use of the endoscope. Definitely going to help us. That looks cracked right there, too. Wow, I think the crank took a hit on this one, too. Can't wait to get this thing out and pull this pan off. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap this one up. Just quick features on this thing, show you guys what comes in the kit. Also, I want to show you guys what Steve pulled out of that bad boy. You can see, and the camera definitely helped, but you can see you got part of the connecting rod and the end cap here. Look at the carnage. You got another piece here. Looks like connecting rod. And he was definitely able to hook it out with the magnet. The magnet actually picked it up with the camera and loosened it. So he was able to pull this stuff out through the hole. But it's nice because these thread on to the end of the camera. It's not just a clip on. They actually thread on. This little piece comes off. And then you could thread the attachments right on there. So you know it's got a solid connection. Just thread them right on. I'm trying to do this one-handed. And you can see I got the camera up right there. And you can still see, even with the magnet on there, you could still see around it. And then of course you could bend it out of the way. So that's really nice, real nice feature on it. Like I said, my only gripe on this is it's a super long cord, but you know, hey, I guess it's better to have too much than not enough you know I'm not really uh, scoping stuff you know endo I'm not bore scoping stuff from across the shop but you know it'd be nice if you had to shove it down an exhaust system or down a real long hose and maybe not even auto related if you have it shoved into a wall or something like that you know you definitely got enough lead there never having issues with the Wi-Fi seems strong everything that comes in the kit you got your charger wire probably four foot whatever definitely a nice little tool so you guys want to check out this Wi-Fi endoscope. Links will be down in the description. Of course, I'll always try to add the coupon codes for some savings, all that stuff. Definitely worth checking out. I mean, for a cheap Wi-Fi, you know, boroscope, endoscope, whatever you're using it for, hey, it definitely beats paying, you know, $1,000 or whatever I paid for the Snap-on boroscope. So, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Get back to work helping Steve on this car. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.